everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus Dominion painting tutorial and today we are painting Tempest Lords. Yes, this Vindictor will be joining the noble storm host, taking the dark blue and silver. That's the only hero he must be. So, <laughs> without further ado, we're going to get into painting him. He's been primed in grace here and the first colour we're going to be using is Ultramarine's Blue. Now we're going to get this all over the armor and this is acting as our pre-shade for when we do our darker color. What we want to do is we just want to start painting this all over his armor. Now I want to be quite careful here because Ultramarine's Blue can get away from you. So you just want to have these nice controlled brush strokes using the tip of your brush, making sure that you don't have too much paint on your brush when you do it. I'm going to make sure that there is no drip forming. You just want to do these nice big broad brush strokes like I'm doing here. So with that done, you should have some armor that looks somewhat like this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna darken it down. And the color we're gonna use is a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and of light and blue. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go all over the top of all of that armor. Just like this. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down the Latoc blue. And we're going to use this to highlight all of that armor. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Hoeth blue. I'm going to use this as a spot highlight, but quite a wide one, on the sharpest corners of all of our arm panels. So what I mean is rather than doing just like the tip of the corner, for example here on this gorget, we're going to come down like this. We do it again across the middle and again at the top there, like that. Then we're going to pick out the rivets. Like so. And a little bit more just there as well. So, I'm going to go around like this. I'm not doing the whole edges. Just adding those areas of spotlighting, as I say. I 
And so with that done, what we now want to do is we want to take some Fenrisian grey. I want to add a dot of this on the corners of all those sharp areas. So for example, right there, a little dot. And on the nose there. Just like this. And with that done, you should now have what looks like some beautifully reflective, shiny, dark blue armor all around our Tempest Lord. So what we're gonna do now is gonna move on. I'm gonna take some black Templar. I'm gonna use this to paint in all of the leather and all of the soft details in his armor. So for example, just back here on the leg. And it doesn't matter if you've got blue on these areas, the black will cover over it just fine. like this. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to use some thinned down iron hand steel. We're going to use this to paint in all of the silver details. Now the Tempest Lords are quite different to the rest of the Stormhosts we've painted so far because not only do their weapons and things, as per usual, have silver blades. Like that. What we also want to do, we want to paint in the trim. On the shield. And the shoulder pads. And the halo on the helmet as well. We also want to paint in the scale now. And with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take some Blood Angels Red and we use this to paint in soft wraps on the spear and on the knife. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Apothecary White to paint in the shield facing and the shoulder pads. And with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take some thin down Retributor armor. I'm going to use this to paint in the face on the front of the shield. Here. We're going to use it to paint in the remaining details here on the spear. We're also going to use it to paint in the face on the shoulder pad as well. 
I'm not going to use it to paint in the lightning bolt because according to my investigations that lightning bolt will it'll be the same blue as the rest of the armor which I'm going to do now as well um, but we're not going to cover that again because we've already done it with all of the armor so So with that done, it's now time to add some shades to the model. And the first one we're gonna do is a roughly four parts contrast medium to one part black Templar. And this is gonna be for all of our silver. Now we don't wanna use very much on our brush as we do this because it can get out of control very quickly. But what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us a lovely kind of oily texture to that silver. That is absolutely perfect for these Tempest Lords. While still kind of doing its contrast thing. It's just slightly tonally better than doing the silicone grey which will make it kind of look more like kind of an iron where we want this to be quite a bright silver. So that's why we're using the Black Templar. And with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Fire Slayer Flesh and we're going to use this to shade the gold. So with those shades applied, our Tempest Lord is now at what I would call effectively a war hipster battle ready. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it to the next stage and we'll start brightening him back up again. And the color we're gonna be using first is Corax White. We're gonna be using this to effectively relayer all of our white details. So what we wanna do is basically, for example, on the shoulder pads, just wanna take this Corax White, pick out the edge, like this. And then we also want to take this Corax White and brighten up the shoulder pad itself while just avoiding those recesses where the apothecary white has settled. And this might take a couple of thin coats to get perfect. So just take your time Similarly on the shield, you also want to just brighten up the shield facing, whilst again just avoiding where that Black Templar is settled around those metallics. And with that done, you should have some white that looks somewhat like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some white scar to add some highlights to the edges. Just like this. And with those white scar highlights applied to our white details, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some iron hand steel and we're just gonna use this on the shield. But what we wanna do around the kind of edging area is we just wanna relayer the flat open parts, just to make them nice and shiny. Just avoiding those rivets, kind of coming right up to the, to the, to the lip around the inside of the shield. 
so it makes it nice and shiny like that. And with that done, oh, my shiny shield, what we're now going to do is going to use some Stormhost Silver. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our silver details. Just picking out all of those edges. And with that done, you should have some beautiful shiny silver all over your model, like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on. We're going to start highlighting that gold. And the color we're going to be using is Liberator Gold. And with that done, you should have some now lovely shiny gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight our black areas. And with that done, all that's left to do is to work on the gems and the colour we're going to be using for this is Blood Angels Red. So we've got one here on the shield. And just there like that. And we've got two in the spear. So one here and one on the other side as well. Like that. And we've also got this one here on the scabbard. Like that. And with that done, we then want to take a tiny dot of Luganath Orange and just apply this to the tip of each of those gems. Just to make them look a little bit shinier. And there we have it. Our Tempest Lord is now finished. And, well, I don't know tons about the Tempest Lords, but the small amounts that I have read indicates that they are amongst the most noble warriors of Sigmar Stormhosts, and it's absolutely reflected in their panoply. That blue is very similar to the Crimson Fists, who are pretty noble space marines, but the white offsets it beautifully, and I think it really comes together nicely. If you'd like to see how I painted that base, you can, can check out the How to Paint Dried Earth bases that will be available here on YouTube as well. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button here on the YouTube channel page and if you just love this video and want to give me a little donation as a well done you can click on the thanks button below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming! <laughs>